Good morning, YouTube fans all around the world. Admiral Preparedness here. It's a beautiful Monday morning. The waning days of January 2017. I want to talk a little bit about night lighting. Uh, there's an economical way to do it uh, where you're always going to have at least some kind of a light. Uh, even though the darkness of night, you can use these glow stick type devices or these LED lamps. I use them in unison. What I do is I place the light on the light absorbing, I call them test tubes of light, just so I don't have to violate somebody else's copyright. Uh, these test tubes of light, somebody came up with an idea to take a clear uh, silicon gel and then cut up some uh, light absorbing material, uh, squirt them into a test tube, a plastic style test tube. I think these are, sh those. well, I won't say, but let's just say uh, these are little test tubes you can buy just about anywhere with a small cap. And then made a, a label to go on them. A, a medicine chest style chain so you can hang them from a backpack or any object you want to be able to see. Because these glow sticks, uh, they glow at night. Uh, I found out, I bought a few of these to test them out for my own personal use and maybe for resale and by Joby they, they work really well to a point I mean some of the advertisements you see out there with these uh, glow sticks is that they um, can be seen you can read a magazine or look at a map uh, using just one of them you know folks that's right after you've charged it that's it, it's right after you've charged it not several minutes later. Uh, they're not like a iridium. They don't. They're not from that family, so I don't have to worry about uh, radiation from like the the military would not let allow you to wear iridium watches on board nuclear submarines because it would throw off the the uh, dosimeter that you carried on your person throughout your daily activities aboard a submarine. Uh, if you go out there and search. There are tons and tons of references to glow-in-the-dark goo, gel, paint. Uh, some people have, for whatever purpose, purchased the paint, the glow-in-the-dark pellets, uh, 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 and, uh, a clear paint painted on their uh, homes, kickboards, arrows, so that when the, lights are, the light is gone, these arrows illuminate, showing your way out. You've seen them at certain uh, venues or private public buildings. That's all good and fine, but who wants to have a glow-in-the-dark arrow pointed out every time you turn the lights off? I wouldn't, but in saying that, the way you charge these, like I said, it only costs you a few uh, moments with the, uh, the lamp that's high intensity. And once you turn the lamp off, as you can see, even in broad daylight, these guys are glowing. They're emitting that reflect that absorbed photon energy. Uh, I really like this because I was thinking I'll just use one, and then I got some packing tape and taped four of them together. Uh, really interesting to note that uh, for about five minutes, I could read a magazine, light a small room, and, and be able to see comfortably. After about 15 minutes, it's, it starts to degrade to a point where now it's just a, you can just see it in a corner, you, you know where it's at. So if you had it on a backpack or you put it on a, if you put it on a string or rope and was going from your tent uh, to your latrine or from your car, uh, based if you're outdoors, of course. Now if you're indoors in, a, in a, like a, a basement or a, a, when it's dead pitch black outside, during a power outage, at least uh, you'd be able to find things that you're looking for because when it, your eyes do get accustomed to the dark, 
you will be able to see these guys very, very plainly. Uh, what I like about uh, this guy here, I purchased it with the effort that it has a uh, hanging unit on the end so I can hang it from somewhere. It rotates. It has a magnet here, so if I want to do some work on an automobile, I can attach it to the hood. It has uh, on and off. That's it. But it's got 36 LEDs, so it uses very little power, and it only takes three AA batteries. Now, if you have uh, rechargeable AA's, you're good to go. What I like about it, too, is I can use this to supplement my light. So I use this to charge it, and I use this to do my uh, just basic nighttime activities as far as walking around. I don't use it for uh, to light my way. I basically use these to show me where something's at of, that I need to know where it's at of interest later on in the dark. I have taken these when I first got them and put them around a the room. It does give you that uh, enough light to get your way around. If you wanted to do something different, there are the new technologies coming out there almost daily with LED technology. Uh, they're, they're almost all over the place. There's these little guys here. They simulate a volatile type of for ambient light or whatever I use them for Halloween but the point is is they're out there on the marketplace you can make your own LED lamps you can use your own you can use your own ways of getting about of course we all know about these guys here the only trouble is uh, they're battery hogs uh, this one here is a regular standard light bulb and uh, I wouldn't bet next maybe five years these will be the thing of the past to go the way of the horse and buggy. Uh, these big 1.5 volt D cells will last a long, 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 long time for an LED style light. So these are about to go away as far as this goes. I mean, now you see them on television where they're being able to be run over by a car, frozen put in a, a heat source like an open fire and, and operate just fine. So that technology is definitely improving up, uh, leaps and bounds. But for the economist out there, you want to get something that you're going to be able to be happy with for a very long time if you're trying to save money. That's not an option today. This is not an option because it's an energy hog. Uh, this guy is not an energy hog. Uh, you could use this several days, if not several weeks, uh, into the future. One of these days, I might set a timer, turn it on, and come back and find out how long it actually works on a full charge to get some kind of a number. The manufacturer doesn't put the number out. As a matter of fact, uh, I bought this through a purchase. that I, There's no manufacturer's name, so I can almost guarantee you the patent that was issued for this was not very well written. Uh, you can do your studies, find out that there's probably eight different things that could be changed on this just now to make it where you won't be violating anybody's patent. These guys, good luck trying to get a patent because uh, huh, I could put one of these together in about 15 minutes with a zip glue gun and a couple other items that'd be good to go but we'll keep it short we'll talk to you soon folks Adam preparedness here take care of your country take care of your family it's the only two things you got